We all have our go-to favourite leagues for career modes, but here are some good reasons to try your next FIFA 23 save in one of these underrated leagues. So firstly, we're heading to the EFL Championship, which has multiple licensed stadiums. And those teams with licensed stadiums are Burnley, Cardiff, Huddersfield, Hull City, Middlesbrough, Norwich City, QPR, Sheffield United, Stoke City, Sunderland, Swansea City, Watford, and finally West Brom. In addition to the licensed stadiums, the EFL Championship also has a huge amount of Starhead players. My go-to league for a mini Road to Glory is the French second tier, Ligue 2. There are some excellent teams in Ligue 2 with some nice kits, some high potential wonder kits and most importantly a TV broadcast package which in my opinion is something we definitely need more of in EA Sports FC. Even though FIFA 23 has several fake teams in Serie A, the Italian second tier Serie B is fully licensed. There are some iconic teams in Serie B this season, including Palermo and Palma. When eventually promoted to Serie A, despite the unlicensed team issue, there is a TV broadcast package, which does make the Italian top flight a lot more playable than in previous years. In my opinion, the cleanest menu colour scheme in FIFA 23 is the MLS. Add to that a TV broadcast package, a multiple star head players, some high potential wonder kids like World Cup winner Thiago Almada and several officially licensed stadiums, the MLS is definitely a career mode worth considering. So if you want to try something new for your next FIFA 23 career mode, why not try one of these underrated leagues? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to tune in next time, but until then, it's FCG out.